Well, if you'd like to meet a young man who's achieved his dream of working on planes despite a disability, just head to our website at okhorizon.com and click on this free value added. Well, the use of military drones in both Iraq and Afghanistan has dramatically changed the demands on modern day pilots. Unmanned aerial vehicles called UAVs are being credited with lowering U.S. casualties while also giving the military another tool in the fight against terrorism. With more, here's our Courtney Dehoff. For the first time, the U.S. Air Force is training more unmanned pilots than manned pilots. Leading the way is an Oklahoma company whose design may be the future of aviation. It's not unusual to see small insects and birds flying through the air. So common, they often go unnoticed. And that's exactly how the U.S. Air Force wants the next generation of UAVs unnoticed. These are vehicles and systems that are modeled after birds. They're about the size of a bird. They're biomimetic. A lot of them will actually look like birds so that they can be concealed in, in the military environment or in the military mission. Missions that may be too dangerous for human pilots. James Grimsley is the CEO of Design Intelligence Incorporated, the Oklahoma company that is designing unmanned air vehicles to take on our most dangerous threats. In particular, we're working with very, very small vehicles called micro-air vehicles. Uh, these are the vehicles that are going to be used by our military in the next four to five years for reconnaissance, uh, surveillance, and uh, just a variety of, of purposes and even possibly weapons. And they will carry a variety of payloads from sensors to, to warheads to just you name it. So we work with very, very small stuff. So small, they can go virtually anywhere, virtually undetected. In a promotional video for Design Intelligence Incorporated, we see just how advanced the new vehicles could be. It will blend in with its surroundings and operate undetected. MAVs will use microsensors and microprocessor technology to navigate and track targets through complicated terrain such as urban areas. The ability to travel complicated terrain unnoticed may make UAVs the new future of our military. Uh, we're working on things that the military is going to use for essentially spying, for reconnaissance. They're going to be flying in and taking pictures behind battle uh, lines and, and uh, in urban environments, things like that. Abilities that are just as important to Oklahoma as they are to the military, just for different reasons. Jamie Jacob is with the Oklahoma State School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. There's essentially an unlimited um, use of uh, unmanned vehicles. Uh, two of the things that are near and dear to the heart of Oklahoma will be agricultural and oil. Uh, both of those uh, have unique opportunities for unmanned systems to use them. Uh, for example, on the agricultural side, uh, you can have unmanned aircraft do crop surveys. So that way you can look uh, and see where you have damaged crops, track livestock. Um, on the oil side, you can use that for exploration with all types of sensors. Exploration that Oklahoma State knows well. One of the top schools in the world at training undergraduates who are working on unmanned vehicles, OSU has won more competitions than anyone in the country. It gives us a real edge in competing in what we kind of think of as the next golden age of uh, aerospace or aviation. You know, the ability to develop these small platforms that are very unique, that can do things that have never been done before, um, and make Oklahoma a center for uh, aerospace excellence in the 21st century. In the skies of Afghanistan, UAVs are providing America's military forces with a significant advantage over our terrorist enemies. With UAVs flying more than 30 missions a day, they're becoming assets that save American lives. 